Hey guys, Nuan here with Movie Slinger Reviews and today we're going to talk about Hobbs and Shaw. In this movie, Deckard Shaw's sister Hattie Shaw, who's working for MI6, is trying to recover this bioweapon called the Snowflake. Then Brixton, who's working for this secret organization, um, what was it called? Uh, forget it. Let's call them Spectre or the Syndicate because it doesn't really matter. So anyway, Brixton wants the virus for his people, but Hattie steals it and goes on the run. Then the CIA contact Hobbs and Deckard Shaw to track down Hattie and find the snowflake before Brixton gets to it. Now let's start with what I liked about this movie. This film is directed by David Leitch, who was one of the directors of John Wick. So he's great with hand-to-hand -hand fight scenes. They are choreographed really well, especially the ones with Jason Statham. These scenes reminded me a lot of John Wick. The shots are just wide enough to see Statham fight and it's edited in a way that you can see the flow of the action. No close-ups, no shaky cam and no fast cuts like the previous Fast and Furious movies. This is probably the best looking movie in the franchise. Jason Statham is really funny as Deckard Shaw. I'm not a fan of the quiet, transporter type Statham. I love the snatch, fast talking Statham and that's exactly what we get here and I enjoyed that. I like Vanessa Kirby as Hattie Shaw. She's really badass in the movie. The story delves into their childhood a little bit. We see a few flashbacks with young Deckard and Hattie getting into trouble which was really cute. Even Helen Mirren shows up in what is probably the best scene in the movie. It's really quite adorable to see Mama Shaw boss around Deckard. I liked the movie when it focused on the Shaw family, but unfortunately, the Shaws are only one half of the story. Dwayne Johnson as Hobbs was always a minor supporting character in the previous movies, and I wish he stayed that way. Sometimes his chemistry with Deckard clicks and it works, like the retinal scanner scene or the scene where they meet for the first time. But their arguments often go on for too long, and any sense of humor they had quickly evaporates. The jokes in this film aren't really all that funny. The one-liners are lame and the longer people talk, it gets annoying. They try this romantic subplot between Hattie and Hobbs and it just didn't work. These two had zero chemistry. At one point, The Rock even jokes he has no chemistry with her. They're trying to recreate the complicated relationship between Dom, Brian and Mia. But that was cute and endearing. This is just painful to watch. Idris Elba was completely wasted as Brixton. He's not even the big bad guy. He's just a lackey for someone bigger. All you see of Brixton is either talking to his boss or he's fighting. He has some history with Deckard, but for most of the movie, I just forgot all about that. This movie is needlessly complicated. It has way too much plot. And since the writers don't really know how to present these important plot details, they resort to, you guessed it, exposition dumps. Characters are constantly reminding us what happened in the past, what's happening right now, and what they're planning to do in the next 30 seconds. It slows the movie to a crawl and I just zoned out for most of it. By the time you get to Samoa and The Rock's family story, I've already stopped caring. But what's real is family. You don't turn your back on family. There's always room for family. No, there isn't, Dom. What they should have done is focus on the Shaw family in this movie and then do the Hobbs family in the next one and get rid of all the secret organization BS because that didn't add anything. So at one point, one of the characters gets infected with the virus. Now, the easiest way to build tension is by giving a deadline, a ticking time bomb type scenario. This person has to be saved before the time is up. But they don't even do that. I had no idea how much time they had or whether time was an issue at all. They are just walking around, just chilling. So there's no suspense, even though this person has a virus inside them. There's also a whole bunch of side characters that show up to do one thing. I'm gonna call them single serving friends. Do you get it? Oh, I get it. It's very clever. Thank you. There's a Russian scientist played by an English actor with a bad Russian accent. I guess Gary Oldman wasn't available. There's also some mafia lady and Hobbs's daughter. They didn't really add anything to the story. 
I already mentioned that I enjoyed the fight scenes, but what about the car chases? This is, after all, taking place in the Fast and Furious universe. Well, it's not bad, but the filmmakers rely on way too much CGI, so it's not very exciting to watch. There's an okay bike chase, but no bike chase is gonna be good enough after watching Mission Impossible Fallout. I mean, you know that's Tom Cruise on the bike. You also know this is not Idris Elba on the bike. It's a stunt guy with his head conveniently covered by a helmet. The final action scene in Samoa was quite fun, mostly because it's hilarious to see The Rock and his brothers do a haka, and people generally stopped talking and started fighting. Conclusion. Look, I love dumb action movies. Take Fast Five for instance, still in my opinion the best in the series. Had a simple villain, the team had one very easy to understand objective and they spent more time doing cool stunts and less time talking. Hobbs and Shaw is dumb, but it thinks it's smart. It wants to be Mission Impossible. It aims for a complicated plot it can never hope to explain properly. It has too many new characters we don't have time to get invested in. Dwayne Johnson is a hit or miss at best. And that's a little painful for me to admit because I've always been a fan of him. Jason Statham and Vanessa Kirby are really badass and I wish we got a whole movie just with them and Helen Mirren. And also, where the hell is Luke Evans? I don't think he's busy at the moment. Get him for the next movie. So I'm gonna give Hobbs and Shaw a 4 out of 10. It's my least favorite movie in the Fast and Furious franchise. Don't bother going to the movie theater to watch this. Just stay at home and watch this with your friends. Alcohol might help make it seem funnier than it actually is. So there you have it. Have you watched Hobbs and Shaw and what did you think about it? And what's your favorite Fast and Furious movie? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe. Movie Slinger out.